please ignore these drips of water melon juice that just got on my shirt but thank you for tapping in welcome to the channel and um, as you see I am in my kitchen right so right now what I'm doing is just give you a little lifestyle uh, stuff you know from your boy I've been lately I've been on the kick of um, really eating a lot healthier and part of that has been an intake of uh, beets so beets like red red beets there's also golden beets but you know, these things are, are wonderful. They got a lot of health benefits. I'm not gonna run down the list of the health benefits, but you can uh, Google it and check out yourself, or YouTube it and check out yourself. There's a bunch of videos on it, but I've been just trying to overall eat healthier, um, eat less red meat. If I do eat red meat, trying to make sure that I'm having lots of smoothies, lots of juices, so that it keeps your body, your, you know, in my, in my mind, what I think is that if you eat meat, it's not a bad thing necessarily. Obviously, you don't want to eat a lot of, you know, a lot of red meat. Um, it's been linked to, a, um, you know, a lot of different health problems. But if you are going to have some meat, I think that how well your body processes it and how well your body um, digests food is going to indicate how healthy something is to you or not. So I think if you, you know, if you're a person that has like a, a bloated, you have a uh, digestive tract issues, um, you're, you have like inflamed arteries, things like that, then I would say like a greasy hamburger is going to have, uh, you know, it's going to further your negative state. It's going to contribute to all that. But I think this is, I think I'm not a doctor, but I think that if you are a person that has a generally healthy diet, lots of greens, very hydrated, you're drinking lots of fluids and also getting hydration from different sources. Um, like vegetables and fruits, that I think having a greasy burger, while that might not be the best thing for you in general, I don't think it's gonna have the same negative effect on your body because you have a system that's likely to flow that out quicker, right? So if you're a person that, you know, hits the bathroom for a number, you know, you know what, um, you know, daily in a very like comfortable manner, then I would say you're probably doing better than someone that like, constipated and once a week or every few days they go and it's backing up and those toxins are getting released throughout your body while you know they're sitting in there um that's just my basic logic i don't think that we have to really dive too far into you know you don't have to be a doctor to to understand the basics of our human body you know so um yeah that's all i'm doing you know one, one thing that i like to do is when i do cut up the beets I'll cut those up. Right now what I'm doing is just like slow cooking them with olive oil so it'll start to soften them up. Um, you can eat them hot, you can let them get cold and put them in a salad. Beets are great, great texture. These are the stems of the beets. Yeah. So th these are the stems. I chop them up and put them in a bag and then I'll use these inside of like a smoothie. Um, and I would just imagine that there's a lot of nutrients that are in the stem because that's what creates the fruit um, or creates the actual yeah the fruit or whatever it is but also so like if you use the uh, stem right if you're using the stem you're like there's more fiber in there so when you blend it up you got to really really blend it up or it's going to be a little grainy which to some people it's fine um, if you don't want to have the grainy but I, I say like take it all in you know like take a little graininess take a little texture take a little fibrous um, this in your drink that way your body's not just getting juice you know because like you don't want to remove the natural stuff maybe you blend it up to make it easier for you to have like consistency with it um, but don't don't like remove the fiber uh, portions of the fruit in my mind right this right here is the, the shavings so you know the bee comes I shave the hole all around it and then I uh, save this in a bag and then I use this in my smoothies as well. And this blends down way easier and it doesn't like leave that like gritty type of filling inside of the drink. But once again, that gritty type of filling isn't a bad thing. It's just sometimes for taste, I don't wanna have like something super gritty. Um, but yeah, what I've been doing a lot of is watermelon, beets, like in a, in a smoothie, watermelon, beets, uh, lime, uh, ginger, 
you know, like this right here. Ginger. Ginger root. Yeah, I like that ginger root. Ginger is good, man. It's a, um, it's a good inflammatory. It gives your juices a, a nice little kick. Um, it adds like a, a warm taste to it. Um, a little, a little spice kick to a certain degree, depending on how much you put in there. But I like ginger. Um, another thing that I'm making right now is let me just slice up a couple so you can see what it's gonna look like. I've been doing a lot of bell peppers. So bell peppers, we mix it up with some yellow and red bell peppers. Got a great taste. Um, throw a little olive oil in them, season them a little bit, and it's really, really tasty. So I'm just trying to like find more things that are, uh, you know, like just like just being more creative and consistent with vegetables and different types of greens. And, uh, and you can really have, you know, a nice meal with less meat. You know, so like tonight my meal, I'll have like a little salmon, um, but I'm going to have beets, potatoes, some bell peppers, a little bit of rice, a little bit of salmon, and, um, and I'm good to go, players. You know, I'm just trying to have a nice little diet. Um, yeah, but, you know, that's it. Just wanted to give you guys a view of the new setup. The kitchen has perfect lighting already. So when I moved the camera in here and I, and I turned it on, I was pleasantly surprised. So, oh, another thing I just did was I bought this pull-up bar, uh, pull-up bar and a dip set. So Craigslist is still where the deals happen. $40, I got a, uh, it's called a stamina pull-up set. You can look it up. For 40 bucks, I got it. The thing sells $400 brand new and it's literally in the same condition. So my whole thing is that I've been really hitting the weights, doing a lot of push-ups, but I really want to get to the pull-up part where I can do muscle-ups because I, the people that I see doing a lot of pull-ups, they're ripped, they're chiseled, they are very lean, and that's what I want. I want to be lean. I want to, you know, have like a nice six-pack. Really like shape all this out, um, and you know, it's not necessarily about being like big for me. I'm like I'm six-five, so you know, being big isn't the real goal, you know. But lean, strong, cut. Uh, flexible, limber, all that, that's the actual goal. So right here, I had some papaya from last week. Um, and papaya is like a weird fruit. It's like, you don't really know it's fully ripe until you look at the outside of the skin most of the time. And it almost has like mold growing on it at that point when it's like the inside's actually ripe. So once you cut it open, you got like a short lifeline of the actual food. So I love papaya, but it's quick to, to go bad or start giving off some like stinky funk. And you don't want to risk it with like bad fruit because you can definitely get sick or get the, you know, the bubble get those, bubble get that those. So I'm going to toss it and, uh, and I'm going to make sure that next time I eat it a little bit faster. But anyways, folks, man, thank you guys for tapping in. I hope you guys like the new setup or keep the content going. You know, obviously the main thing is mortgage industry, real estate industry, all that type of stuff. But you're also going to see some lifestyle stuff. And as you see, that watermelon juice has almost dried all the way. Okay. No, but um, but thanks for tapping in. Please like and subscribe. Uh, that will only that will not only motivate the algorithm, but that'll motivate me to make some more content for you guys. All right. Show you guys some different juices that I'm doing. Whole goal is to be happy, healthy, and wealthy. So I'm gonna provide some information about real estate, mortgage, some investments, best of my knowledge, things that I'm doing, um, food, workout, wife, kids, no, I'm joking. All right, you guys, have a good one. Peace, 100 years of wealth. Like and subscribe. See you.